Hello St Mary's, it's Mr Cottrell here. Now unfortunately I can't see you lot at the moment, but I thought it would be a good idea in the meantime to send you a video just to recap some of the things which we've learned in our first few lessons. So in this video I am going to talk about the different parts of the violin and then after that we'll do a little bit of work on the different kinds of notes that we've talked about which is crotchets and minims. So first of all, let's have a look at the violin. Here's a picture of a violin and I have drawn some X's over the different parts of the violin that I want you to name. So pause the video for a few seconds and see how many of these different parts you can remember the name for. At the top here, the curly bit is called the scroll and underneath the scroll are four tuning pegs which are sticking out the side of the violin and the strings are wound around those tuning pegs at the top. You can see the four strings and you can just about see the top of the fingerboard here. So here's another view of the bottom end of the fingerboard and we can also see the bridge which is what the strings are resting on and either side of that we can see the two F holes that's where the sound comes out of the violin. And now if we go right to the bottom of the violin, at the other end the strings are attached to the tailpiece and you can see there's a little tuner attached to the E string on the tailpiece here and next to the tailpiece is the chin rest, that's where your chin goes. Let's have a look at our strings now. There are four strings on the violin and each one is named after a letter of the alphabet. But the problem is they are not in alphabetical order, which makes it a little bit tricky to remember them all. So to help you remember, you need to think of the sentence, greedy, dogs, always, eat. So the first letters of those words are G, D, A and E. If we take a look at this picture on the screen, this is what a violin looks like if you've got it up on your shoulder. So on the left is the G string and that is the thickest one. Then the D string is next to that which is a little bit thinner. Then the A is a little bit thinner still. And then your very thinnest string which makes the highest squeakier sound is the E. Now let's have a look at some of the notes that we talked about in our last lesson. So this here is a crotchet. It's a black note and a crotchet lasts for one beat. Remember in music we count in beats, not in seconds. And this note here is a minim. It's a white note and a minim is a bit longer because it lasts for two beats. So when you see a crotchet, I want you to think short. And when you see a minim, I want you to think long. If we look at this grid here, we've got a mixture of crotchets and minims. The top line has got two minims, that's two long notes. So if I was to clap the top line, it would go long, long. Now the line underneath has got a minim followed by two crotchets. So that would go long, short, short. If we look at the third line, it is two crotchets, then a minim. So this time I'm going to let you go first, I'm going to give you a few seconds to see if you can work out how the third line goes and then clap it. Okay, so that third line should have gone short, short, long. Now the fourth line, this one is tricky because the minim is in the middle. Again, I'm going to give you a few seconds, see if you can work out how the fourth line goes. So the fourth line, you should have clapped this, short, long, short. Now we've got four more rhythms and these ones have got more notes in them so they last for a little bit longer. Let's have a look at number one first. So that's a minim, then another minim, then two crotchets, and then another minim at the end. So that one should go like this, long, long, short, short, long. So have a go at clapping that now. Okay, now number two, number three and number four, I would like you to try and work these out for yourself. So I'm not gonna show you how they go first. Pause the video and have a little go at clapping each one. 
So for number two, you should have clapped long, short, short, long, long. Then for number three, it goes like this. Long, short, 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 long. And then number four, this is the tricky one because the crotchets and the minims are all mixed up. Number four goes like this. Long, short, long, short, long. So the last thing we're going to do in this video is clap some of these rhythms in time with some music. Now we are going to loop them or repeat them over and over again. So for example, if I was going to loop rhythm number one, it'd go like this. Long, long, short, short, long. Long, long, short, short, long. Long, long, short, short, long. I think you get the idea. So now I'm going to start up some music and we are going to clap rhythm number one over and over together in time with the music. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Long, long, short, short, long. Long, long, short, short, long. Long, long, short, short. Keep it going. Long, long. And now let's try rhythm number three in time with the music. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Long, short, 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 long. Long, short, 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 long. Keep it going. Now, when I see you next, we are going to use those crotchets and minims to play boogie woogie on the violins. But for now, that's the end of this video, so hopefully I'll see you all soon.